in this video, I want to go over these examples and match them up to which sets do they belong to. So these are number sets. And the number sets we have are natural numbers, whole numbers. We have integers. We have rationals. Okay, we have irrationals. And we have real. So those are the sets that we have. So now, this number eight. Well, number eight belongs to, so it's definitely a counting number, which is a natural number. But that's not the only set it belongs to. It also belongs to the whole number set because the whole numbers include 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. It also is included in the integers. Okay. It is also included as a rational. And the reason why it's rational, remember that rationals are any numbers that can be written as a fraction. You can write 8 as 8 over 1. So that's an integer. This is an integer, which makes it rational. Now, 8 is not irrational, but any number is real. So that would be the first example. Now, this negative 4. So negative 4, well, it is not in the natural number or whole number set because it's negative, but it is an integer. And I'll interchangeably use, say, i and z so notice you can use them interchangeably so that is an integer now any integer is rational again by the same argument so you can write any natural whole number or integer just over one makes it rational and that also would be real that would be the second example this third example you have to be careful a little bit because this is a perfect square, which equals to 3. And 3, okay, as it is, and we'll assume that it is um, positive. So in that case, if it's positive, okay, this would actually be natural number, whole number, integer, rational, and real. Okay. Now, if you only look at just the square root of 9, sometimes people will think that this is just an irrational number. It's not, okay, because it's perfect square. Now, the next example that you have, which is this one, this is a decimal, but it ends, which means it is rational, and it also will be real. Notice that real is everywhere, because every fundamental of these numbers is actually real. The next example that we have, so 1 over 3. So this one we can't really simplify in any way. It's just 1 over 3. We have an integer on top, an integer at the bottom. So it is rational and real. And it can't be anything else. This pi, okay, so for those who may remember, is actually an irrational number, but any irrational number is real. Now, a little bit of a note, because sometimes, okay, you know, maybe not all teachers and so on teach these irrationals, and if you don't have a choice of irrational, don't forget that any irrational number is real, okay, if that's your best choice that you have. The next one ties in into irrationals. It's the square root of 17. It is not a perfect square. And if it's not a perfect square, it is irrational. And again, just like the previous, it must be real. All right, brings us to this last one here. So be careful, 0 over 11 is just 0. So if you have a 0 on top and you're dividing it by a non-zero, the answer is 0. And 0, well, 0 is not a natural number, but it is a whole number. It's an integer. I'll write i this time around. It is rational. 
and it is real. Okay, so these are some examples that you can see which fit into a particular set. Thank you for watching. I hope.